All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got something fun for you guys today. This is going to be another build video, all right? But this is something that I haven't tried yet. I just messed around in the builder, and I think I found something that is workable in both a comp setting and for fun. All right, but this is a completely unique build, and I want to know what you guys think of this one, all right? So here we go. All right, so first of all, you guys are going to be like, uh, Vic, have you lost your mind? But we're going to do a blue-green pie chart. We're at power forward. And I want you guys to witness the magic of this build, man. Hold up. All right, so we're maxing all of this stuff out. Okay, we're going to max out our standard dunk as well. Okay, we're not touching none of the hook, although we could... Get up to like 20 something badges for finishing. You just don't need all that in this game. Okay, so we're gonna max out pretty much everything in the shooting category. Now, here's the thing, right? You could easily decide I don't need free throw in this build. All right, you can put your free throw at like a 70. That's gonna lower your shooting badges. I understand that, but how many do you really need? Because you're gonna be playing spot up on this guy. Right, so let's do 70 free throw. Alright, so we're going to max this out. Going to max this out. Okay, then we're going to do our rebounding and our block. And then whatever is left, we're going to go ahead and throw on pass accuracy. Just so we don't throw the ball into Narnia. Okay? So that's what the build looks like. Now we could strip away the pass accuracy. It is a 42 off rip. We could add a little bit of steel to get the 10th defensive bath. That's up to you guys. I probably would do pass accuracy just because I don't want to have the ball sail and I know I can get by with 9 defense. Right? I'll show you guys 9 defense here in a minute. Okay, so we're going to make him actually we're going to make him burly because I like all my centers to be burly. But for this to work we have to be 6'7". The lowest height possible for a center. Alright, so I want you guys to understand this build ain't for everybody, man. So if you think you're a baller at big man, this is the type of build for you. Alright, so our weight is going to be minimum. You guys see we get an 81 speed off rip. That does not include any plus upgrades for 84 or 95 and beyond. And it doesn't consider gym rat. So if you got gym rat, again, this is a very interesting build for you. Alright, so wingspan. This build is not coming out the house till it's a 97. I want you guys to understand that. Okay? So we're going to go with 221 wingspan. Now we have a decision to make here. We could go with post take and just decide, okay, we're just going to dominate inside. That's what we're going to do. Okay? This build has the capability to do that all day. Right? But the real gem of this build is obviously the shooting. So we want sharp take. So that way, dudes have to respect us on the perimeter. Okay? Now I'm going to show you guys the badges. As you see, the build name is an interior finisher, which is really rare. <clears throat> okay, so our badges are going to be... So, for finishing, obviously we need Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. Right, we need Relentless Finisher on Bronze. I am going to go with my stuff that I really like. And I don't know how it's going to work on this guy, just because of the low strength. But, you know, we'll find out. Obviously, we got to have Showtime on Hall of Fame, too. So, really, we're... Th these two are going to be interchangeable with other things, depending on how it works. Okay? Um, shooting badges... Obviously, you're going to be a spot-up guy on offense, so you're just going to put on your spot-up type badges, um, and that's going to be all she wrote for this, right? You could easily do pick and popper here, just to give yourself a little extra, but I'm, I'm going to put on flexi on bronze. Our one playmaking badge, probably got to be a uh, break starter, in case we're playing wreck. Alright, so now this is where it gets interesting, okay? So we're going to go gold here. We're going to go with that. 
All right, we're gonna go Silver Intimidator, and we're gonna go Gold Rebound Chaser. Now, again, this is situational. Because you're a spot up, you may not need this. And then you go there. All right, but you gotta have this and this as high as, as you feel like you need. I only need bronze box. So, that's the thing, right? Um, and that's the build, guys. So, just so everybody understands, this build is not for the average Joe as a, you know, one of them dudes, right? It's not for you if you don't know how to play this yet. Like, you have to be a pretty experienced big to make this work because you have so few defensive badges, right? Keep in mind also, you can set pretty good screens because you should have Iron Wall by now, right? Iron Wall is a great badge that teaches, you know, shove dudes on the ground for you, that kind of thing. It's great. So, keep that in mind too if you decide not to put Brick Wall on this build. So, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this build. I think it's a W. Um, I might actually play this, but a, a, a modified version for the shooting event coming up at the end of July. Because I feel like this could be a really good way to get what you're supposed to get. That's right. Because I can, I can, let me show you. Matter of fact, let me show you. It's going to be a little bit longer, and I apologize for that in advance. But, um, let me show you. Alright, so, if you want it to qualify for the 20 shooting, this is what you do. Alright, so, once again, we want 25 shooting on this build, or 20 shooting on this build. So, we're going to sacrifice some things in order to get that. But, again, if you're an experienced big man, you already know how to play. And you're just looking for this build to get you your 20 shooting. Alright, so right there. That's what you need. So that means... Bang. Bang. I mean, we don't really need lateral quick or perimeter defense on this, but... It's a luxury that I like to have, okay? Our block has got to be as high as it can go, just because we're not established inside like that. And obviously the three, I mean, you, you could put that into your post feed, I think. Yeah, and get 21 badges. I mean, you might as well at that point, right? Alright, so again, that's how you make the build. You know what I mean? And it's got 21 shooting, which obviously you don't need. But for that particular event, you do indeed need it. Alright, so that's what we're doing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the build video. I think this is a W build. Uh, make sure you make the Wingspan 221. I forgot to go over that, but you guys saw it on the screen. Uh, 221 at 97 gets you your Elite Contact Dunks, which is obviously one of the major things about this build that you're going to like if you're a, you know, a slasher type of dude. Because you can do all of that, and you still have the capability of shooting the ball in the corners especially. I, I think this is a great build, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Remember, this version qualifies you for the shooting event coming up at, you know, uh, middle July. I think July 18th, I believe. So, if you guys are interested in this build for that reason, there it is. Alright, so until next time, don't break nothing, guys. I'm out.